A baby is believed to lighten up the life of a couple. A baby fulfills the dream of a couple of turning into proud parents. Two individuals are happy with each other but are happiest when they have a family that they could call their own. The feelings that a to-be parent goes through are tough to be expressed in words as they are the emotions so pure and blissful that they could only be felt. Parents of kids would know what it is to experience the joy of parenthood. When everything seems to be beautiful about the birth of a baby, there was a dark side that a family from Moldova had to face after their daughter was born. The way the newborn would behave bothered the couple. And when years later, a neighbor steps into their lives, everything changed forever. The baby, the parents, their family all ended up being in a quagmire. We often define love at first sight as an occurrence which is true just because from the very day a baby is born he she falls in love with their mother. There is no love like that of a mother's love. Her selfless care and love towards her baby are what makes this bond stronger. But when a woman from Moldova delivered her daughter, something seemed off. Scientifically, a baby and the mother connect to each other in an instant due to the production of various hormones that release as the woman undergoes labor. A hormone called oxytocin is solely responsible for the growing motherly instincts in a woman during her months of pregnancy. Even the newborn infant feels attached to her his mother due to this particular hormone, the second he she steps into this world. It is said that a child is able to recognize his her mother's fragrance. And not just this, but the mother's voice is also something a child is able to differentiate from the rest much before it is born. For all those nine months when a baby is growing inside his her mother's womb this bonding develops. But when their daughter was born, she would behave strangely which soon turned into a cause of worry for the family. Within seconds after a baby is born, she is placed next to her mother, as he can only recognize her through her senses and is able to adapt to the outside world via her warmth, love, and care. Surprisingly, their daughter would just cry. This leaves the couple completely baffled. It was in the month of March 1978 that Vera Lashtur and her husband Nikolai gave birth to a little princess, a baby girl. The couple was ecstatic. Their happiness knew no boundaries. They were already proud parents of a boy and with a princess birth, they thought their family was complete. Though everything was fine superficially, soon Vera could sense that something was weird. But what? When everyone hoped that bringing their daughter home would be a happy and a magical moment for Vera and Nikolai, it wasn't anything close to it. At the very early stage itself, Vera felt a strange and a weird disconnect from her own daughter. Little did she know that this initial discomfort with her newborn would later unwrap a story none could ever think of. Vera and Nikolai named their daughter Tatiana. When the couple brought their newborn baby girl home, they wanted to provide her with the best of everything. As she was too young, the only way she communicated was with her expressions and crying gestures. But one day the situation seems to be something different. It was not new for the couple to see the newborn cry, they were already experienced parents. Most often it was seen that the babies would cry to communicate that they are hungry. And when Vera would feed Tatyana she would get all the more cranky and would fight. Vera often thought that Tatyana was mildly colic but as she would cry louder and louder she would be frightened. Vera and Nikolai hoped that as the baby girl grows older, her behavior which comes across strange to them would eventually vanish. However, fate had something else for the family. As years passed, Tatyana grew into a preschooler. However, her behavior was still not normal. The couple could not understand the matter. Tatyana would at times be very happy with them and then she would isolate herself. She was turning into a moody person and would often be upset. Matters worsened when Tatyana became the topic of discussion for the neighbors. Vera would recall the birth of her son. She remembers how he would sleep in her arms. Also, he would depict via actions or crying that he is hungry but in Tatyana's case, she would rebel every time Vera tried to feed her. She, being a mother, could easily sense that there was definitely something odd about her baby girl. While Tatyana turned around six years old, the neighbors too started to talk about her odd attitude. People would whisper to one another about this little girl and soon a big rumor was spread. Even Vera's close relatives started talking about it. When Vera came to know about what people were gossiping about, she couldn't take it. The neighbors had a reason to talk about Tatyana. 
The girl would not play with other kids of her age, nor would she mix well with her own family. At times, the people around would say that she doesn't even resemble her parents. This was quite bizarre. And then one day Vera came to know about one such whisper. One fine day, Vera was in the community park with Tatyana when she heard her neighbors passing out glances at her and her daughter. She overheard them saying that it seems as if Vera had brought home someone else's baby. Probably she was raising a wrong baby. People would even say that Tatyana is adopted and the family had been hiding it from everyone. Was it the case? Vera could not handle such rumors. She was already disturbed with Tatyana's attitude and behavior, and all these rumors were making things even more difficult. She did not want that such talks disturb her daughter, and thus she and Nikolai decided to shift from Moldova. And when they did so, a truth surfaced. Vera and Nikolai had made all the arrangements to shift to the United States in early 1999. Just a week prior to when they were to move into a new place, a woman from their neighborhood who was even a close friend to the family came in to speak with them. She told them that she had a piece of information that might be important for the family. The woman told the couple about the story of another baby who was residing in her sister's neighbor's place. That baby was born around the same time as Tatyana, and even his condition was miserable. That baby too would cry often. Hearing about the similarities with that baby Vera and Nikolai somewhere panicked. While Vera and Nikolai were quite baffled on knowing the similar situation of another baby, what their neighbor said further came as a blow to them. For instance, they wanted to ignore a particular fact but they couldn't. What she said was something no parent would wish to hear. Nikolai later in an interview said that the woman knew them and the other family as well. He recalls, She knew us, she knew the other family, and she knew that both kids were having problems after the hospital. As they grew up, I guess she could tell that the other kid looked a lot like our family, and the kid that we had looked like their family. How can the children look like that? Vera and Nikolai thought it is better to leave Moldova. They left that place and shifted to North Carolina and then Ohio. However, every time they would visit the place again, they would try to locate the other family and see if anything of the past could be resolved or connected. But nothing like that happened until... Back in the 90s, it wasn't that easy to locate people as it is today. While the couple left their investigation long back, in the year 2017 with the advent of technology they decided to give it another try. They remembered that their neighboring woman gave them the name of the baby as Valentina Suman. In August 2017, they searched the name Valentina Suman over Facebook and found a match. There was this girl in her 30s who was a resident of Moldova. She had dark colored hair and eyes similar to that of Nikolai. They messaged her and told her the entire case. They even asked her for her birth details. When Valentina provided them with the details about her birth date and place and the hospital she was born in, Vera and Nikolai were amazed. It was exactly the same date, time and place when Tatyana was born. She even forwarded some of her pictures when she was an infant, and it made the picture a lot clearer. Anatoly, Vera and Nikolai's son saw those pictures and said that she resembled a lot like that of his parents. He was shocked to make this discovery. The resemblance was something none could ignore. With this, the family decided to get a DNA test done. In October 2017, the family via a Russian television show got their DNA tests conducted. As the results came, it was crystal clear. The doubt they had in mind in regard to Tatyana and Valentina turned true. Valentina's DNA was a 99.99% match to Vera and Nikolai's. Valentina was their daughter. When Valentina met Vera backstage, she couldn't control her tears. It was an emotional reunion. They were meeting for the first time in the span of nearly 40 years. This somehow made concrete why the two babies would be cranky all their childhood. The newborns could sense that their respective mothers weren't their biological mothers. Both the families met backstage and shared a special moment. They were annoyed and angry at the blunder the hospital had made. The little ones were switched at birth. However, they were happy that they both were brought up by beautiful adoptive parents who had given them the best possible life. Tatiana and Valentina shared a deep bond. Though they were strangers but being raised by each other's parents, 
they were no less than sisters. They both shared the same situation. They had an uneasiness in adapting to their parents, and how there was this disconnect in childhood. Since the day Valentina had come to know about her birth parents, she made a constant effort to know her parents more and more. She would often travel to the United States until she leaves Moldova. Valentina's life back there wasn't an easy one. Valentina not only had a tough childhood, but life after that had also been challenging to her. She is a single mother of a six-year-old girl, Andrea. Moreover, she was also a surrogate mother to her nephew. Vera and Nikolai were happy to welcome all of their grandchildren in their family, and were glad to be a part of such an extended family. As for Tatiana, she too holds no grudges against anyone. She was also trying to know her birth family, and was trying to adapt to them. However, she still shares some attachment with Vera and Nikolai. She was thankful to them for raising her into a human she was today. One can call this story all the result of fate. How two babies got switched at the hospital, and how their lives have been shaped afterward. Luckily, they got to know about their true roots. We wish them happiness and good health for the future ahead.